Hello teachers and students. In this video, we're going to review how to use BlendSpace. A simple Google search of BlendSpace will bring up the website, which is Test Teach with BlendSpace. Just go ahead and click on this. BlendSpace is a free digital tool in which you can create structured lessons for your students or organize a visual cluster of resources. You can again join for free if you are already if you already have an account, click on login, enter your email address, followed by the password, and click login. This will bring you up to the dashboard, and here you can see all the different blend spaces that I've already created. But let's review how to create a new lesson or what we call a new blend space. Later on, we'll talk about how to create a class. So first of all, you click on new lesson. You enter in the title of your lesson. There we go. For each of these tiles, you have three options. You can add text, you can create a quiz, or you can drop a resource from various sources such as YouTube, Google, your Google Drive, etc., your Dropbox as well. So a wide variety of options for each of these. Let's take a look at, at each of them in turn. First of all, we're going to click on Add Text and going to type in All right, so you go ahead and type in what you want it to say, and notice that there is no fault checker there, so you have to make certain that you do not have any spelling errors in here. And after a text is typed in, you can do a large number of things. You can highlight everything, you can bold it, italicize it, you can change the color of the text. You can change the font size, the type of font. When you're and a large number of other things. When you are done, go ahead and click on done, and your text will appear. Taking a look now at how to add a quiz, you click on add a quiz. You type in your question up here. You enter your answer choices here. If you need to add additional answers, you click on add an answer. You can eliminate answer choice by clicking on the X there. And the one that you have bulleted will be the correct answer. When you're ready to add another question, you click on Add Question, and you continue. This will be the correct answer, so we're bolting this one. And then when you're done making your quiz, you click Done. And the quiz is available. Notice that with each of these, you can enter a label. 
So you go up here and click on that area and can type in a message for your students such as And again, make certain that you have no spelling errors in there. When you're done, just click outside that box. All right, let's cover how to add outside resources into the tile. Going over here, you can see all of these options listed on the right. To hide all of this, you click on the cart and it all goes away. To bring it back, click on the cart again. Let's say we want to add a source from YouTube, so we click on search YouTube. We enter in our search terms up here. Click on search. Let's say I want to add Sparknotes Hamlet Summary. I click on this and drag it over. That easy. Let's say I want to find something from Google. Again, I click on the icon here. I enter in my search terms, hit search, and let's say I want to bring this in, I just click and drag it. Click and drag. Very simple. There are other options. You can bring PDFs in here. The PDFs can come from your Google Drive, your Dropbox, your hard drive on your computer. And the options are over here, Upload Media File, Dropbox, Google Drive, etc. If you find that you're running out of room, simply click on Add Row and more tiles will appear for you to populate. When you believe you are done, it's always a good idea to click on Place. So that way you can see what the blend space will look like from the student's perspective. You can even take the quiz. And when you're done taking the quiz, hit submit. And you can see what the correct results are. Moving forward here, that's how you go back. You can play the video. And moving forward, you can take a look at the websites. And if you click on open a new tab, the website will appear. To get out of this, you click on the X, and it'll take you back to the main screen for the blend space. If you don't like how you have some of these tiles organized, you can simply drag it from one to the other, and they will switch positions. When you are done, you can go ahead and share it. When you click on share it you are given lesson link you can click on Google classroom and enter your classroom and enter the link in there you can also go to your Twitter account you can email it enter in the email address of the people who will be receiving it as well as custom message you can even go to Facebook or generate a QR code one really cool thing is you can click on embed and it will give you the HTML code for entering it into a website. For example, on this website here, you can see a blend space that had already been added. And just taking a look at the information behind the scenes here, clicking on HTML, you can see the HTML code that had been entered and the width and height had to be adjusted to make it best fit. If you wish to go return to the dashboard, you just click on Test Teach in upper left, and you will see your lesson down here. You can always uh, explore other lessons that are available in BlendSpace, as well as go to Tips, to see other ideas of how people have used BlendSpace to communicate information to their students. 
If you have found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and offer some positive comments. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.